Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have m to the power of 4 minus m to the power of 2 equals 72. Okay, the next step is bringing the constants to the left. So we have m to the power of 4 minus m to the power of 2 minus 72 now equals to 0. But then, if I want, I can work on this to get m to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus m to the power of 2 minus 72 equals 0. Now, here is what I want to do. Let m to the power of 2 be equal to x. Okay, this way we will replace our m squared with x. So we now write x in place of this. The square on it is coming down. Then minus m squared is x. And then we have minus 72. This is giving us 0. This is a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization right okay so if that is the case then we will come down here to say um we'll look for two numbers we're going to multiply to get minus 72 then we add the two numbers to get um to get um minus one because minus one is the coefficient of x okay so the two numbers will be minus 9 and 8 okay minus 9 minus 9 plus 8 will give us 1 i mean minus 1 then minus 9 times 8 will give us minus 72 so the factors will now be x minus 9 and then x plus 8 this is giving us um, 0. So now it is either x minus 9 equals 0 or x plus 8 equals 0. From here, our x is equal to 0 plus 9 or x is equal to 0 minus 8. x from here is 9 or x from that side is minus 8 okay but remember when we say that our x is equal to m squared so if i put 9 here then i have 9 equals m squared okay and from here how many values am i expected to have because from here this is 3 to the power of 2 equals m to the power of 2 okay remember i will still go to the other value of x now bring this to the left we have 3 squared minus m squared equals 0 then if we apply difference of two squares then we're going to have 3 minus m into 3 plus m equals 0 now it is either 3 minus m is 0 or 3 plus m is 0. From here, it means that 3 is equal to m. I mean from here. And that means that our m is equal to 3. This is one of the solutions. This is one of the solutions. Then if we pick 3 okay 3 plus m from here 3 plus m is equal to 0 right so we'll now say that um our 3 is simply equal to negative m that is if we take m to the other side and this equally means that m is equal to negative 3 so this is another solution to the equation now let's move over to the other value of x that I left out, we have x equals negative 8. x is what? m to the power of 2. 
this is equal to um, negative 8. Now, from here, we are going to take the square root of both sides. And if we do that, we have m to be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 8. Since we are interested in the solution from here, let's continue. Our m will be plus or minus square root of 8 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Because if you multiply these two together, you're going to have this. Now, let's break our root 8. So, m will now be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 times 2. Then multiply by root negative 1 is i. Now, our m is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we still have these two um, under the root, then multiply by i. We can decide to rearrange and multiply 2 by i. So we have m that is equal to plus or minus 2i root 2. But mind you, this is still a 2 in 1 solution. So our m will now be plus okay plus 2i let me not write the plus we write 2i root 2 okay this is one of the values of m then we also have another value which is m equals negative 2i root 2 now let's bring the four solutions together because from here we have two and we had two before right so let's do that Okay, so bringing the four solutions together, we had um, m1, that's the first value of m that we had, and it's equal to 3. Then we had m2, which is equal to negative 3. Then we had m, m3, and it's equal to 2i root 2. Then we had um, m4, and that is equal to negative 2i root 2. So these are the four solutions to the equation. If you if you have forgotten, the equation still remains m to the power of 4 minus m to the power of 2 equals 72. So you can put in the value and confirm it yourself. Thank you for watching and I really would love you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get more of my videos.